Meet Olo. Imagine being able to print 3D objects directly from your smartphone for under $100. Olo is the first smartphone-powered 3D printer. Simple and affordable, Olo uses the light from the screen of your smartphone to print 3D objects. Half of its hardware is already in your pocket. Olo works with phones of all sizes. Its app is available for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Creating 3D objects is as simple as picking a design from Olo's easy-to-use library. Or you can use any 3D mobile app, including 3D scanning, to make your own. You can also choose designs from the web that are created by others or shared via social media. Olo can print files from the 3D design software of your choice. Select your object, pour in the resin, and Olo does the rest. Olo uses a special photopolymeric resin. Olo prints are designed by using the light from the screen of your smartphone to harden the liquid resin layer by layer. Olo can even print multiples of the same object, or several different objects all at the same time. After Olo prints your 3D object, all you need to do is rinse it under warm water. Olo has different resins for different jobs. Olo can print hard objects and flexible ones. Olo even has a castable resin that can be fused so you can create an object in silver and gold or other casting metals. Olo's resins can be used to print translucent models to light up your designs. Olo resins are available in a variety of colors and are priced competitively with other common 3D printing materials. Anyone can use Olo. All you need is creativity. With Olo, you can exchange creations with people all over the world. You can even send a surprise gift to someone special that can only be revealed by printing it. When it came to Olo, we wanted to revolutionize 3D printing. We wanted to design a 3D printer that's affordable and easy to use. Olo will cost just $99, because we want everyone to have one. Spread the word. Help us bring Olo to everyone. I've been involved in the field of personal fabrication for five years now and I've seen what an amazing impact that these tools can have but I've also realized that these tools are just a fraction of what's possible. When we were at the Media Lab at MIT we had access to an amazing set of tools, 3D printing being one of the most important. For designers and engineers like us there was simply no solution if you want a high resolution 3D printer at low cost on your desk. So we decided to build it ourselves. imagine where my research would be without 3D printers. I would really like to have a 3D printer at my desk. We don't currently have any of the existing low-cost machines because the part quality, resolution, and repeatability is nowhere where we need it to be. In architecture and many design fields, the software tools have advanced pretty significantly, but there's been a gap between what you can actually design and what you can actually make. And I think the Formlabs printer provides an exciting opportunity to be able to design and then physically make quickly precise, complex geometry. Formlabs changes the way people design things. They're going to be able to get really pro-quality 3D printed parts way cheaper, way faster than they've ever been able to do that before. Formlabs takes us a giant step closer to the engineer's dream, which is routine 3D printing. 
the way they'd, they'd print on paper. To design a 3D printer that produces great parts every time, you've got to bring together a team of designers, engineers, and material scientists to make a tightly integrated product. If you can do that, you can fundamentally change 3D printing, and I think we've done exactly that. Stereolithography is great. It's a tried and true process. It's been around for well over 25 years. It produces the best quality parts in the industry. The way it works is pretty simple. A laser beam is drawn across the surface of a liquid plastic resin that hardens when exposed to a specific wavelength of light. After the layer is drawn, the build platform lifts and the process is repeated layer by layer until the part is finished. We have a great user experience. We have powerful and easy to use software. We've built a reliable and beautifully designed printer, and we're developing materials which will enable our users to make amazing things. We've been working on the design of our product for over a year, and it's nearly complete. And so now it's time to start gearing up manufacturing so that we can get it into the hands of users everywhere. But to do that requires substantial resources. The bottom line, designers are going to be able to make a lot more 3D printed parts. And I don't mean a few designers, I mean a few hundred thousand designers, a million designers, are going to have access to 3D printing in a way they didn't before Formlabs. Imagine you have an incredible concept, and what we want to do is give you a great tool to make it real. First time people see a 3D printer in motion, it, it's, it's captivating. People are mesmerized by it, and everybody wants to get involved. 3D printer is kind of like magic. One minute you have this box on your desk, and the next minute you see an object appearing out of thin air. At M3D, we knew at some point in the future, these tools would be a part of everyone's lives. Um, so we asked, why not now? But there hasn't been a truly affordable consumer printer that's easy to use. You just plug it in, hit print, uh, until now and that's why we made the Micro 3D printer. We started with a seamless design and we looked at all the existing 3D printers and we took everything that we liked and redesigned everything else. We knew that in order for them to really live up to their potential that they had to be affordable and completely effortless to use and several months uh, later we'd, we'd done it. In addition to reducing the size and the weight of the box we also reduced the power consumption by about a factor of 10 compared to professional 3D printers. By making it more power efficient, you basically reduce your costs of every component. It becomes lighter, the electronics become more affordable, everything drops. We use auto leveling and auto calibration so that you're never messing with the printer. We decided we had to provide software that just makes it really easy. So we have a library of existing parts and select what you want, just hit print. People can use other sources for their filaments or they can use ours and it goes both ways. Other people with different printers can buy our filaments as well. The Micro 3D printer is for everyone. We designed it to be perfect for beginner users but also for expert users. Of course they're already very useful today. You can use it for things like replacing a shower hook or building real prototypes or even functional parts, uh, replacements for things around your house for example. And that's just scratching the surface of what 3D printers are capable of. We want you know, a printer in every single house, but in order to get there, we're going to need the Kickstarter funds to make the molds. A lot of people are going to get a printer as their reward, but what they're really doing is they're, they're helping us get started and, and they're creating a new brand with us. We need a 3D printer like the Micro, something that's ultra affordable, to get lots of printers out there so people can nurture the technology and figure out where it's going to go. We knew it was coming. You know, somebody was going to do it. The question was who and how. A project like this started out with one or two people and I'm just floored by the amount of support we've gotten, so we have a lot of people to thank. We really strive to be innovative in everything that we do and I think people already see that. We're really looking to, to raise hell in the industry. Here.